Hello, everybody. Good evening. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. We don't celebrate Christmas. Well, I'm a little quiet. Hang on, let me just bump myself up a little bit. I... I'm going to try to keep my volume a bit down uh, today. Primarily because it's, it's a bit... It's been on the late end, admittedly. Hang on a second. You know, I don't want to change. There we go. I'm just gonna have to hard change it. I don't know why I wasn't changing. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Happy holidays. Uh, I hope you all having a good one, of course. And, uh, yeah. It's just been... You know, it's been a pretty good day for me so far. Um, got a couple of coo uh, cool things. Hello again. Welcome. How's your How's your holiday? Assuming you're having Assuming you're having a Christmas. I hope you're enjoying the new um, binary symbol. <laughs> Um, I try. I tried making my own little binary symbol. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But hey, I mean, it being okay is better than it not being okay. So think about it like that, right? Hello, Orion. Good evening. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I took some time. Uh, I grew out, grew out the beard a bit. <laughs> um, how's it going today, folks? Um, I was thinking, I'm feeling really antsy right now. If I'm being honest, I'm feeling really antsy. Um, so I thought, hey, you know, why not try to stream a bit, right? Like, uh, also, beep boop. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really antsy right now, so uh, I want to try to stream, and I have I got a bunch of new hobby stuff, right? For for Christmas, uh, Momsko bought me like a new um, like cutting mat and like nippers and sandy sticks, and, like the whole the whole shebang, right? Like just everything that you might want and everything you might need to do, really stop building models. I got. Which is good. I mean, I have a couple of this stuff again, but you know, I never complain about having more standing sticks. Um, and more so, I got I got um, two models. Oh, new new uh, nippers, uh, nippers. It, 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 that that is the the name of the device I used to cut out the pieces when I am uh, making models. Um, yeah. And I got I got two new models. Well, not really new. Uh, they're both a little old. One of them we already built. I'll be always in the original colors. Um, the the first model I got and built today was a RX-78-2, which is something where he built, albeit it was in baseball colors rather than um, its standard colors, uh, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, my main thing is that I got a 1 to 100 scale full mechanics Barbados Lucas. Which is a bit of a, actually a bit of a rare kit nowadays, honestly. But a bit more on the rare end of the scale. And I realized that when I opened the box. Because the the bags. You can tell you can tell the age of a model kit usually by when you open the bags, if the bag I'll, like open the box if the bags containing the runners inside are foggy or not and well let me let me just let me just switch over real quick oh hello uh 
Keyboy, thank you for the follow. Let me actually get my beard down so it's not actually covering, um, covering that. <laughs> um, there you go. No! There we go. Uh, but yeah, here, let me, let me switch over real quick to this. So, back in a, back in a building scene, right? And, let me just slowly move the box. These are some foggy, these are some foggy bags, right? Like, just, just look how foggy they are. And that shows that it has been waiting all this time to be built. Right? For, for so long, it has been waiting for someone to build it. And I thought, hey, why not build it in the company of my great and cool friends that mean all of you watching the stream right now? Yeah, exactly. It's been waiting for the Basco Prola. So I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to actually uh, remove the runners from the back. So I apologize for crinkling in advance, but you know, there's not much I can really do about it. It's also another fault of older bags. They tend to sound a little more, uh, a little more crinkly than usual. Also, another thing, the poly caps are like hard. Right? They're harder. They're not really like as rubbery as they usually are. Which in my mind usually kind of signifies that it's, again, it's old. Right? And I'm just, I'm excited to build it, admittedly. Iron Blooded Orphans, I, I've said this a couple of times on stream already. Iron Blooded Orphans is my first Gundam series I've ever watched. Um, so it holds a dear place in my heart, even though now that I've watched almost every single Gundam series, I realize I Blood Orphans is not the end all be all when it comes to Gundam. In fact, I think it was actually in great in, in comparison to all the other Gundam shows out there, uh, almost on the subpar end of, of the shows. With that in mind, I still love I still love I, Iron Blood Orphans. It hold as I said, it holds a close and dear spot in my heart because without it, I would not be into Gundam as I am currently. Danger! That was dangerous. Rolling rolling hobby knife. All right, one more bag. We have a lot of runners, as you can tell. This might be a bit of a longer, longer boy, longer boy stream. Oh man. Okay, let's get Rootin, Tootin, and Scootin. So I believe the first thing that it makes us do is let's see hang on a second then you get the let's get the instructions out it's a booklet those instructions is a booklet this time so we get a I'm building from the from the book There we go. And I'm gonna actually transfer all of these runners back down into the void. Mainly for cleanliness sake on the building area itself. Don't want to clutter it too heavily. And it looks like we're actually building the internal frame first. It was very similar to how a lot of um, master grades are built, but this is not a master grade S somehow. This is a full mechanic. 
let's see, 22. Yeah, this, this model finally gets to be built and no longer is kept in the prison of plastic like it previously was. Gets to feel the love of, of Basco Prola. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, as I said, it's it feels like a shame every time I find a, a model kit. This is actually not my first time building a model with um with foggy bags, but it feels like it's a shame every time it happens. Hang on, let me let me turn this down. There we go. And actually, hang on, I need to get another tool for my brand new hobby set. Woo! Ah. I got, I got new files, needle files, I got new needle files, and these ones are like, um, these feel like a higher grit compared to, um, the blue one, the blue bag, so I've been using them to clean a lot more, uh, parts, when I, when I, at least I, when I built the RX-78, so... Yeah. If anyone is still in chat, uh, how was your holiday? Did y'all, uh, did y'all do some stuff? Anything cool? Anything spicy? Maybe? That being said, um, just like, you know, anything of note. Personally speaking, we actually we actually shook it up this year. I'm doing this out of order. We shook it up this year. We went out for dinner. Um, Cause there was a couple of steak lunch, pizza dinner. Heck yeah! Sounds like a sounds like a sounds like a good time. Was it a good time? Cause it sounds like a good time. Cause um, for our dinner, we decided to go to. Uh, a, hang on, I'm actually gonna get different. This is not this is not a good file for the purposes we need. Which one's the flat one? There we go. Let's do this one instead. Oh yeah. Also, hi. How's it shaking? Uh, is it is it key keyboy? Am I saying your name correctly, keyboy? Question mark. Please let me know if I'm not. I, I I like saying my viewers' names correctly, if if at all possible. So please inform me if I'm incorrect. But uh, for me, we, we shook it up a bit. Uh, like I said, we went we went out to dinner, and we weren't, we weren't expecting much, right? We were expecting like a, a definitely a limited menu. Uh, but what ended up occurring is that we, we went there and they told us that it was a, uh, a buffet and we were like, oh, we weren't, we didn't know it was going to be a buffet. So of course mom skill was upset, right? But that's, holy crap. This was, will not go in. There we go. Momsko was upset, uh, and I try to I try to keep my my chin up, but um, I'll tell y'all what that buffet that buffet was really bad. <laughs> it was a really bad buffet. Uh, like I, I'm talking, most of the food we got, I'm pretty like I think it was like a hotel restaurant. Most of the food that we got at the buffet felt like the free breakfast you would get at any other hotel. But, um, Random Gundam Lore. Okay, let's do Random Gundam Lore for the Barbados Lupus, because that's what we are currently building. The Barbados Lupus is, um, hey, same hat, Orion, same hat. Uh, it is 
the mobile suit piloted by Mikazuki, Mikazuki August in Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Specifically, it is the upgraded version of the Barbados, uh, which I think I'm mispronouncing, but I don't care. <laughs> um, it is, hang on, I'm trying to find the next runner that we need to get parts from because I don't want to pause too long. Uh, it, it was originally, the original suit got wrecked, right? It got wrecked by um, basically the police state of the setting called um, Gallahorn. And uh, the Lupus is the rebuilt version of the Barbados. As in, it kind of, like, you know, they repaired it with the gun frame and mainly re really reworked its um uh armor uh mainly to be more fitting for mikazuki's um fighting style and it really came to a head in my opinion when they fought the mobile armor uh the hashimal which is like a big metal gear for lack of a better visual descriptor um they fought a metal gear and um mikazuki was the only one to be able to really touch the mobile armor in question and of course because it's mikazuki this also got completely destroyed um like i think it lost an arm like an entire ass arm as well as like half its face and like most of the armor on it on its luscious bod and it later turned into the Barbados Lupus Rex which is a mouthful of a name and they make fun of that fact in the show like actively in the show they um they they say why is the name so long and I think I think at one point Mikazuki says, "Why is the name so stupid?" <laughs> uh, which I think is really funny because a lot of Gundams tend to get really long names, especially as modifiers are added, and no one acknowledges the fact that it's really dumb and inconvenient. Uh, Panda, hello, Panda. It feels like it's been a forever since I last saw you, Panda. So I'm going to give you an extra beep move. An extra sensual beep boop just for you. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Panda. Also, the I don't I think it might be the age of the plastic, but th these these are like clipping out super nicely, right? It feels like I don't really need to do a whole lot of cleanup. Which I'm not complaining about. Because, you know, saves me time. Consume coolant. I, I actually, I don't have coolant. I knew I was forgetting something on my checklist. Uh, if you all don't mind, I'm going to go get some coolant real quick. Uh, I would say take this as an opportunity to also go get coolant if you don't have any with us like right, right now. So... Uh, let me go get that real quick. Uh, everyone hang tight. I'll be back in just a second. Ah.
Okay, we're back. I have no idea what's going on right now, but like my... My switching is not really working, so I might need to do some um, troubleshooting. Because uh, it, it legitimately, it worked before stream, and now it's not working. And I don't know why. Uh, so yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's definitely not working, which is super weird. Anyways, I digress. The... The Barbados Lupus is pretty cool, in my opinion, because it has a couple of very unique features for, for a Gundam. Primarily speaking, um, it has a weapon called uh, the... This one, this model at least, has a thing called the Club Sword, which is like a mace... Oh, well, it's not really a mace. It's more like a, um... Those Mesoamerican, like, obsidian swords from, like, Central America. Um, it's more like though It's more like that. But, uh, the, the Barbados is known, in particular, for having a... A mace, right? So, of course, later on... It does get a mace, in fact, but they are really small maces for some reason. <laughs> they're really small maces, and because they're so small, uh, I th I, like it got the nickname Maracas of Death, because like they they were still maces, right? They were still maces. They would beat your face in, but. They were so... They're, they're like hand maces, right? They're like super, super small compared to the other two, three maces that the Barbados gets um, in its lifespan, including the Barbados first and sixth form and the Barbados Lupus Rex. Uh, it's super weird just how small the maces are <laughs> and how... Uh, like, the, they don't even really look like maces. They look, Like I said, they look kind of like maracas. So a lot of people ended up calling them the Maracas of Death. Plus, the Barbados actually has a cool thing where it has um, guns mounted on the back of its arms. Uh, so you know that that's pretty that's pretty pog, pretty poggy, poggy Rothama. But yeah, that is my tangent on not really a tangent more like a an induced tangent for random gundam lore i hope you all enjoyed hearing about the barbados barbados being being of this Bogo's Binted. So out of curiosity, have has anyone received any gifts of note? I've already told y'all my gifts of note, right? Uh, that, that being my, my uh, hobby supplies and of course the model we're building right now if I can get this piece in. There we go. So, you know, it, like, has anyone received anything of note? Of course, I realize that not everyone actually does do gift exchanges, but, it, it, you know, sometimes people do. Or, like, they buy something for themselves. Um, all are valid in my book. So I'm wondering if anyone has gotten treated or treated themselves. And if so, what what y'all what y'all do? What, what did you get? What... What, what loots? <laughs> Did you get the, the carpet of flying? Like you always wanted? Or Ryan? Calling you out. I've seen your wish list. I've seen your search history. Or Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I was... I decided to cut off the nub there because it was really oddly placed and like placed uh right in the spot that it would be 
No, it's too late. I already saved it. I I know I know I know for Ryan's search history. It's not as bad as you think. It's mainly of pictures of ducks. <laughs> yeah, see Orion knows Orion Orion's the alpha here. Alpha Chad. Only Alpha Chad's never raced a search history. I think I've ever raced personally, I think I think I searched my I did my search history once. And that was because I think someone like someone was like going to access me, right? Access my my uh history. I was not like a trusted person or like a family member. So I didn't want to see like uh all the really weird shit I have to look up when I write stories. Like for instance, I have I I'm like 90% sure I'm on a government watch list because of half the things I have to look up while while writing stories. Like, <laughs> one time I looked up, uh, several different bullet types. Like, several different bullet types. And I, I'm 90% I'm sure that has resulted in me being in a government watch list. Because, like I said, it was... Video Game World, Elden Ring release day, female reindeer antler shedding, or making chicken drumsticks. Oh... Yeah, the video game award, man. The video game awards suck, right? I like. I think it's an issue when I watch them more to see what games are going to be announced compared to like actually watching it for video games. Oh shit! I fucked up. Oh no! I totally fucked up. I totally goofed. I goofed and gaffed live on stream. Yeah, the the these because like you can always tell because they always go overboard, right? Like like you can always tell when when a game bought the award, right? Like Death Loop. Like don't get me wrong, Death Loop, good game, right? Very, like, pretty well made. It did not deserve, like, 12 awards, right? Deathloop did not deserve Game of the Year. Right, it was just, it was, it was just... They, they, you could, this year in particular, you could really tell who donated the most money. And that was Death Loop. Hang on a second, let me let me cut out this piece and I'm gonna read your message. It seems commercial and awkward sound of bits for two and a half hours and then they give the best story to whatever game Ubisoft shit out this year. Yeah. I mean some of the games look pretty good. I think I've, t I've talked about this on stream before, but Nightingale looks pretty good, I think. What the fuck is this instruction telling me to do here? Like... Okay, so it's telling me to... What the fuck? What the bing? This is such a weird instruction set to build the neck. I think this is the neck. There we go. Yeah, but like, you know, E3 is failing. I don't think PAX East, like PAX has happened like at all in the past couple of years so you know they gotta they gotta they gotta do the marketing somehow 
No, understand, Orion. They gotta market somehow. And that how is by doing... Uh, totally not rigged game award ceremonies. Uh, uh, uh. Like, I think, I think this year in particular, you could tell that the game awards were very unfocused. Because they had not one, but two movie trailers. Two movie trailers involved. For a video game award ceremony, right? That's not... That's not video games, y'all. Sorry to say. I know it's, a, I know it's, it's surprising to hear that a movie is not a video game. Nor is video games movies, even though a lot of them try to be. Where the heck is... Okay, there it is. Yeah, it's just... Oh, wait. They also had a TV show trailer this year. That also... Also, I... Th that was tied to a video game, so, like, I'll let it slide. But, like, it's on thin ice, you know? That was a thin ice maneuver. There we go. But yeah, as I was saying, Nightingale looks pretty good. I've been following Nightingale. That's like the only game that really caught my eye that when I did some digging, didn't immediately turn me off. Because, you know, of course the process is, of course, you know, Cool video game, make Neuron activate. Hey, I'm bringing this close because it is a drop risk. There you go. Uh, you know, cool video game, make Neuron activate. Look into video game, realize that it's actually doo-doo, and then feel sad, and then rinse and repeat. <laughs> there you go. That's interesting. Right? There's, there's like, uh, pipes. There's a, there's a pipe, articulated pipe, in, it's inside the neck. And the reason why it's articulated is because it's a uh, polycap. Which is, polycaps, just for those who actually don't know what a polycap is, a polycap is like a rubbery plastic. It's flexible, so like, you know, this, this is the polycap sheet. Super flexible. Can't do that with that. There'll be pieces flying all over the place. Or it will just straight up break. Probably both. Most likely both, actually, now I'm thinking about it. You want 15 or 15? Where's 15? There's 15. They're really small pieces. But yeah, the, the as as I was saying before, the buffet um that we went to was actually um it was rather disappointing. Um mainly because we, we weren't told it was gonna be a buffet. We thought it was going to be a, like a normal restaurant experience, but no, they, they did not tell us at all that was a buffet. And as I said, the food was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. So, you know, I ate some mac and cheese. That's all I had, really. Mac and cheese and eggs. Like, who, who would want eggs for Christmas dinner, you know? They had eggs of all things. Legs. Like, Gin, Orion, if you both are still in the chat, would you want eggs for for Christmas dinner? Scrambled, dry hotel eggs. I 
And the crowning factor... Buffets are never good anymore. I swear they all get their stuff made, uh, made the same way. Yeah, the crowning factor that really... Yeah, eggs. For Christmas dinner. More so. And like, more so, like, on top of that... Um... Yeah, I actually, I actually did have eggs, which was um, a bad choice because I've been feeling real funky ever since. Um, yeah, exactly, right? That's go, woo! That's go was I almost just fell. <laughs> That's why I did the woo. I, I, I almost, I almost ate shit. Just ate shit live on stream. It would have been great if I ate shit live on stream. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, it, it was, it was super weird. And, like, the biggest thing that pissed us off the most, because, like, you know, if it, if it was, like, a $20 per person experience, we probably would have been, like, eh, $20. I mean, food was not the best, but the fruit was good. The fruit was tasty. So, you know, silver lining there. But no. Want to hear how much it costed per person? Want to hear what cost them uh, how much it par- costed? Like, how much it costed? It costed $50 per person. And legitimately, everyone around us, when we when we discover this, like, including the other tables, when they discovered how expensive the food was, was, like, visibly angry. Or, like, visibly, like pissed off that th- that their dinner their subpar buffet ass dinner costed fifty dollars per person yeah F- for yeah 50 like you know we probably would have gotten to golden corral gone in for like 15 bucks a pop and have more options and probably a better food experience Because right, at least at Golden Corral, I could eat my crappy dinner with a like meatloaf or a really really dry burger. Here you had really really fat prime rib or really 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 dry ham, <laughs> like really like bone dry, so dry it was like the desert eating. Yeah, it was it was absurd. It was absurdly priced. Momsko and Dadsko were pissed, like legitimately ranting about it the entire way back to the apartment. It was, I think, the most angry I've ever seen Momsko and Dadsko be after a, a a dining experience. It was crazy. It was a crazy, crazy thing to experience. And I think we left, like, we left a tip, of course, because, you know, it's not the waiter's fault, but, like, we left a strongly worded note. (laughs) We left a strongly worded note uh, saying how dissatisfied we were with with, uh, our, our restaurant experience of the night. Man, there's a lot of parts going into this single shoulder. What the fuck? What the fuck? But hey, you know what? We got back. I hung out. I felt... As I said at the very beginning of the stream, I felt really antsy. Uh, so I decided to start streaming and well smash cut to now and we're building a Gundam and it's been 40 minutes and we just built the char- uh, we just built the Illinois frame for the chest so we might be here for a second especially when we get to the legs the legs tend to be the most mechanically complex part of any Gundam model kit that is primarily due to the fact that uh, the legs have to do the most work uh, not only having to pose well they also have to hold up a lot of weight usually and uh, m- even even more so, 
uh, they have to uh, pose. Smash cut Gundam press. I mean, there is there is a there is a thing called the Gundam press. It is it is the printing machine. So you know, ooh woo, smash cut to Gundam press. <laughs> That's right, gamers. I am. Going to, I'm gonna Gundam. I'm gonna Gundam press. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to stop me. Yeah, that that is exactly why I saw the streaming. Is I was just like, fuck, being anxious on Christmas. I'm gonna build one of my Chris Kringle Miss gifts, and there's nothing. Anxiety can do to stop me other than me debating about it for like an hour because I wasn't sure if anyone would show up But hey, you know what y'all showed up and that's all that matters in the end Y'all came out to hang out. I don't probably would have ended up streaming anyways But it does it does mean a lot to me that you guys are here right now I just want to oh I like here like let's get let's get real here for a second you guys mean so much to me, right? So I feel I feel very honored that I get to stream for you all. And not only do you decide to show up on, on a Christmas night such as tonight, but uh, in general, I feel lucky and at times I feel I feel like I don't deserve to have an audience like you guys, or even like Nakasen. I feel like, for, like, like, at, like, legitimately, I know I'm not big, right? I'm not like, I'm not like Naveen or Coco or Cali or Maple, but like, it it does legitimately feel like a dream every time. I wake up and I talk in the Nakasen Discord with everybody and I go on Twitter and I say good morning and people respond and I message people online. It just, it, it, me, it, it genuinely mean, means a lot to me. And I hope that my, my, my passion and how much you guys mean to me is not falling on deaf ears. Because, um, you know, as much as, as much as I tell myself that sometimes you just gotta need a stream with an empty, um, an empty room. And I have, right? I have streamed with empty rooms before. Um, you guys are, you guys are what matters to me. You matter to me. And I, not only do I think I wouldn't be here as a streamer without you, um, but I feel like to some extent, not, not to get too heavy, but you know, we're getting heavy, so might as well. I feel like I wouldn't really be around in general without Nakasen or even just you guys in general. Uh, I'm not saying that like I, I would be dead or anything, of course, but like I wouldn't be like here as a person, or right? I feel like I would have um, gone a very different route with my life. So, um, you know, I'm drinking water. Thank you once again and I hope that we all have a wonderful new year together and I hope that you all be here next year and wherever this hobby hopefully job someday um, will bring us and like I said uh, that, that is also to say I'm not doing this because I want to get paid I'm doing it because I generally like it like don't get me wrong like you know you know <laughs> 
And I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because it's legitimately just a passion of mine. So, <laughs> oh, thank you. I just drunk. Here, let me drink again. Water. Thank you, Orion, for the water. Also, honestly, like you guys can hear my background music. I cannot hear my background music. It also might be a little quiet. Hang on, let me actually bump up the bump up the background music a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you guys might be able to hear my background music. I cannot hear mine. This is probably the longest I've ever gone building a Gundam without like listening to Gundam or any sort sort of song. So sorry if I'm starting to sound a little a little kooky, a little, a little crazy. Oh, bananas. Oh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I don't know what that character was. But we're here now. Here now holding hands. Also, when he was fucked up, it is like... 80... 80 degrees out right now. <laughs> yeah, it's my custom music. It's my original background music, Orion. Bro Ryan. I paid $75. Yeah, it's 80 degrees out like outside right now, and it's like 70 degrees right now so i'm like very much overheated a little bit <laughs> i'm trying to i'm trying to keep it together but my fucking god's a toasty i am i am a toasty robot i'm gonna tell you what before before the stream started i actually started i, I started watching a a podcast called bad taste uh, I don't really watch it a whole lot. I watched it like t once or twice, mainly because, uh, ugh, man, like a fucking year ago. Jesus Christ. We've been doing this for a year. More than a year. I've had my year anniversary like two months, two months ago. I've been doing this for two more months after my one year anniversary, by the way. I just want to make that apparent. I've devoted, I, I worked at Best Buy for less amount of time that I've been streaming at this rate. <laughs> so, you know, that's pretty pog. Maybe, maybe, maybe worth a follow. Or maybe even worth a subscription with Prime, with, with Amazon Prime. Your free, your free Amazon Prime subscription. <laughs> God, I am not built to beg. <laughs> <laughs> to e-bag. Holy shit, that was so fucking uncomfortable. Ugh, I don't understand how people do that. How they can be like, Oh, y'all need to give me money. Or else I'm gonna be a big baby. And not stream. Or not play this game. Right, I don't understand how people can, um how people like function doing that right it feel it feels so uncomfortable even oh shit oh no i, I cut out the wrong polycap i done goofed real bad okay we're gonna have to pretend i didn't do that and hope i don't lose the polycap but yeah like that like fuck man like like so i've been mentioning this a couple of times on stream i've been watching a lot of this one individual uh named dark side phil and it, 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 man, watching dark side phil is like watching a train crash in slow motion and of course i don't actually watch any of his actual streams i watched two of his actual streams and they were the most painful streams i've ever watched in my life and i've been watching my own vods and that's painful that's that but dark side phil is more painful than watching my own vods um so hopefully that that will express to you to y'all just how bad Dark Side Phil is. <laughs> I like I don't mean that in a bad way either. Well, I do kind of mean that. Like, 
Let me rephrase that. I don't mean this in like a harmful way. I mean this in the way that I want to see this guy improve, but he is just so resistant to change and so resistant to the idea of changing that it's like impossible for him to like and he was like one of the early guys he's been playing games in front of a camera for like 12 years now right and hang on you got another part uh another thing like he's been doing this for like 12 years and like he was one of the he was one of the first people to, to do a let's play right he he like, he would sit down in front of his screen, that being his TV, put a camera in front of his TV, because guess what wasn't invented yet? Capture cards. And he would play games, right? And he would play, like, fighting games, and he would participate in tournaments and stuff like that. And then I just, I don't know what happened, right? I, I cannot begin to describe because it, it feels almost like a light switch, but he like hit a plateau and refused to adapt. Right? Like he like he refused to get a capture card for three I think it was like three and a half years after my man's like, after, like, my man started and the capture cards were, were a thing, right? He just refused to do it. And then he, like, quote-unquote adopted uh, capture card technology. It was super weird. It was super weird. And in a lot of ways... <laughs> thank you. In a lot of ways, um, he, he is a... He's a good example of what not to do when streaming... Which is unfortunate to say, but that, that's just the truth, all right? He's a he's a lot, he's a good example of what not to do while streaming. Um, because I also think he doesn't. Yeah, I don't think he watches his own vods. I like I didn't watch my own vods for a very long time, and but I've started doing that recently because you you do learn a lot from watching your own vods, like um what you can improve on if there is like any really major issues that just no one has called you out on like for instance um poor mic quality like i can probably tell you right now this this font might be a bit rough on the ears because i'm actually noticing that there is some red bar um looking at my uh, audio uh, so, you know, I apologize if there's any, like, major popping or, like, clicking, or if I cut out. I'm trying my best because my, um, building setup is actually different from my usual setup. because uh, <laughs> this is, to be honest, it is the most scuffed setup I could have done, y'all. It, it is, it is so scuffed. It is, <laughs> it is a new brand of scuff when it comes to um, my build streams um, because I don't have like a camera that is like that has like an arm attached so I have a webcam <laughs> I have a webcam taped to my microphone stand <laughs> And my microphone stand has been changed position, so it's going across my my desk. So I can... <laughs> it's just, it's so scuffed, y'all. <sighs> but you know, this is what I do, because it is fun. And even though it is so scuffed, I, I, I can't stop doing it, because it's, it's so fun. It's so fun to, to build for all y'all, and... To hold your hand and <sighs> not gonna lie, I do look pretty good with the beard. You think I could you think I could be a dwarf? I think I could be a pretty good dwarf. 
a dwarf, a dwarf bot, a dwarf. That's not a word. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Basco Noma. Yes. <laughs> Also, I hope you also understand that I'm trying to keep it a bit lower key today when it comes to the stream because it ha it is approximately 11:43 at night. There's people in my apartment above me trying to sleep, even though they don't give a shit about uh, us down here. And most of all, Momsko and Dadsko are trying to sleep, and I don't want to uh, wake them. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let me just cut out these parts. So, have y'all have y'all been looking at, at Five Nights at Freddy's at all recently? Because I've been um, I've been kind of following the the fan reaction to Help Wanted, which is the latest game in the FNAF franchise. Um, and. A lot of people seem to not like uh, Help Wanted a whole lot. Right, but I think because it's just, I could understand why I don't really like Help Wanted because it is too uh, artistically different from uh, the other games. So it feels a little, um, I don't know how to put this, it feels disconnected. And like, like, don't get me wrong, right? Like the the other the other games, right? They 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 the art changes throughout the games, but um, just something about uh, security breaches, art style, I feel like broke a certain threshold for me, and now I can't exactly. Call that art style the Five Nights at Freddy's art style, um, which is fair because I don't feel like it's really a Five Nights at Freddy's game either, right? It doesn't really feel like. It can be called a Five Nights. It feels like it feels like calling it a Five Nights at Freddy's game is is simplifying the the, the changes that uh, Scott has done to to the franchise. Well, you know that's fair, but it is a pretty. I mean, it is it is a. You know, it's a franchise, so it's like, you know, sometimes it's hard not to talk about it. And in this case, it, it's just me, it's just me talking about how I, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the art style or, um, I mean, I don't really care about the story at all, right? The story is uh, a confusing mess of retcons and shit. I mean that's fair even though I don't think it I don't think it was ever a flash game actually now I'm trying to think about it I don't think it ever actually was one but I get what you mean it's a similar it's a similar vibe to a flash game that suddenly becomes like a like a thing but every game was the exact same, uh, same until recently and I lost interest in a long time ago yeah I mean of course I think I think the first major change was, was um, Pizzeria Simulator, but even then there was just the normal TM 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 
uh, Final Fantasy Freddy's gameplay at some point. Um, but that was like technically optional. I think there's actually an ending you can get if you don't retrieve any of the animatronics. And you just say, fuck it. <laughs> Which, you know, honestly... Fair, right? If you don't want to retrieve any of the fucking clearly haunted-ass animatronics. Just want to leave them out. Fucking do it up. It's your business. Certainly, if I was a pizza owner... And I was told that that there would be scrap animatronics left outside my door. I need to test it out every night. I'd be like, no, fuck off, fuck off. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not bringing any animatronics in here that aren't already tested, right? That's like that's child safety hazard. Do you think I want to kill chillins? Because no, not yet. What is yet, of course. <laughs> a joke, by the way. FBI, if you're listening to that, that was a joke. I love children. I don't want to hurt them. I don't ever want to hurt anyone. I don't like, I just, in general, don't really like hurting people. But you know, I feel like that's a pretty... That's a pretty normal statement, right? Saying, I don't want to hurt anyone. That's a pretty normal thing to say. <laughs> pretty normal and natural. I, I almost have the temptation to put on uh, copyright free Christmas music but at the same time I remembered I don't really like Christmas music so I'm not going to <laughs> maybe because um, I, I realized that there, there's like two types of Christmas songs out there in the world Right, there is, you know, old ass music about Jesus Christ, or it's about fucking, and there's no in between. Because if you listen to a lot of Christmas songs, it's about people wanting to get down. Um, <laughs> it's about people wanting to get down Santa's chimney, if you know what I mean. Which, by the way, this is not a say so stream. I just want to say that. Why don't you want to close? Peace. Peace you don't want to close in my house? In my yams? If I ever meet Naveen, I think I'm gonna give them yams. This is the really weird running joke that I have with Naveen that I think spilled out into. I think when Orion, when you met Naveen, didn't that spill out into your your interactions with Naveen? The whole yam thing. that actually not speaking of that at all this is a completely different subject um 
What do y'all have any opinions on the song It's Cold Outside? Just out of curiosity. Cause I mean I can see why people say it's rapey. Because it's it does sound that way. Um but you know, I don't know. Well, I'm going with this. I'm going to abort subject until someone responds. If someone responds. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, man. Christmas songs. So weird. They're usually, they're, yeah, like I said, they're either always about Jesus Christ or wanting to, to bone Santa Claus. And so far, I have not seen a, a combination Probably because I think it would be considered sacrilege if you want to bone Jesus, which is honestly just this, just you know, that's cowardice right there. Tell me you don't want to bone, bone, bone down the the Lord and Savior. What are you even trying to do here? <laughs> If you couldn't tell, I'm not religious, by the way. This one is just want to make that apparent in case that wasn't already. I am very not religious. So, you know, boning, boning Jesus Christ is free game for me. It's like boning Zeus. Or... Actually, I was about to say or boning uh, like uh, Odin, but then I remember like Odin is actually not really that horny. Whoa! Hello, hello, real Roboto Ronin. Um, hang on a second. Let me just. How's it going? How's your stream? Welcome everybody. Hello, I I am Basco Pro. The oh man. Um, <laughs> uh, hang on. Oh no. Uh, common Rider Yokai. Thank you for the follow. Hello. Hang on a second. Oh no, people are following me. Hello, Merry Christmas. How was your stream? We are um we're building some gunpla today. We're just we're just doing some some late streams for late for for late folks. Uh Ryan Z Oh, I, I apologize if I mispronounced this. Uh, Rion Z Kaijuber, uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the for the coolant redeem. Please tell me if I if I mispronounce your name. I I want to make sure that I pronounce names correctly. Um, it is important to me. I was cranking nineties on some Fortnite gamers. Heck yeah, you love to see it. Currently speaking, we're just building some gunpla hanging out. Just Ronan. All right, Ronan. Welcome everybody. Uh, as I said, I am Basco Prola. Uh, I'm your new toy robot best friend. R Rye on. Okay. Yokai. Awesome. I also apologize. I, I, um, I have a broken voice matrix. Uh, I'm incapable of pronouncing R's correctly. So, um, I, I apologize about that as well. It's very, it's very difficult. It seems a lot of people here are, are, um, are names. <laughs> so I, I'm, ve I'm very sorry, but I hope you understand. Um, yeah. Was it? Was it a um, was it a good stream? How how was it? I mean, I know you were styling some Fortnite gamers, but like, did you get styled on? I hope not. Or were you or were you pure were you pr pure style? Fourteen, holy shit! Fourteen wins in a row. You, <laughs> holy shit! You really were um just just styling on them nerds, huh? By the way, out of curiosity, how did you find me? Um, I don't recall meeting you before, Ronan. 
So just out of curiosity, how did you uh, how did you stumble upon my merry little Robo self on this fine Christmas Eve? Ah, you know, skin styled on the storm is totally fine sometimes. You just, sometimes you just gotta get stormed on. I don't. I actually, I, honestly, I've not actually played Fortnite. It's been a bit. Uh, in searching the subspace for friends, I need more friends. Ah, th thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate it. I really do. Um. Yeah, I mean, I could always use more friends. I'm. I'm never complaining about having more friends. Uh, we're just building a Gundam right now. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna go. Probably until I'm tired. I might have to do a part two. I, I at least would like to build the inner frame of the Gundam. Uh, this is the Gundam Barbados Lupus, by the way, for any Gundam fans. In in, uh, it is the full. It's it's the full mechanics. So it is just the full. It is just the no grade inner frame. Um, but now it says full mechanics on the box. You know, I think the I think the Rex is pretty cool. I think my favorite is just the Lupus. Uh, primarily because I think the Lupus just had more screen time. You know, like the 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 Rex only really existed for the second half of not even really the second half, but like the last third of uh, IBO season two. That is. Um, I appreciated the aesthetics. I think it looked a little bit like a gorilla at the same time, though, so I wasn't sure how I felt about that. Anyways, let's pull the waist, shall we? I think we shall. But yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I... I I also, admittedly, I, I mentioned this a bit earlier on stream, but, you know, I, since there's so many new people, I might as well just say it again. That's just how streaming works. Um, I have a very soft spot for Iron-Blooded Orphans because um, Iron-Blooded Orphans was my introduction to Gundam. So without it, I would not be as much of a Gundam freak as I am right now. Uh, Cause let me tell you what y'all, if y'all stick around, you're gonna learn something very specific very soon. And that is, I am a nut for Gundam. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh man, this podcast just will not go in. Hang on a second. It's a drop risk. I'm not gonna drop anything this stream. That's my that's my goal. Not dropping anything, Not not a penny. Not an iota. To to those who are also new, I, I do have a a tendency to do build streams. Uh, it was a goal of mine for quite some time to do a build stream, and uh, it's been going. Monthly build streams have been going on for about how long now? Like five months? Has it been five months? I think it's been five months. Um, and I think every stream so far, I have, uh, somehow dropped my, dropped my stuff. I've dropped it like a fool, like a charlatan, like a, like a goobus. Uh, and I am declaring now that this stream, this build stream, I am not going to drop a single thing. Unless I already have, which if I did, I, I honestly, I don't remember if I did or not already. And I hope I didn't. Because if not, then I'm going to be a mega goober. There we go. And I'm also not applying the, uh, the stickers because uh, that is a lot of stickers. And uh, I just, I just don't want to. Also, hang on, I just realized I did not finish the arms correctly. <laughs> I jumped the gun a bit. I don't think I actually finished the arms correctly. So, let me finish up the waist. Put the waist on and, uh... 
fix fix the arms. I yeah, I definitely did not build the arms correctly. Also, hang on, I need to do a slight adjustment. There we go. Yeah, wow, I totally just totally blinked on the that part. That that explains why there's still parts on this runner. But yeah, um, if any of the Raiders are still around, uh, what are y'all into? Did y'all have any, uh, did y'all have a good Christmas? Do anything special? If you do, if you do celebrate Christmas, of course. Not discounting anyone who doesn't celebrate, of course. Uh, personally for me, I... I explained this a bit earlier on stream. Uh, I went out for dinner with my family and uh, got a bunch of new hobby stuff, which is why I'm able to build on this cool new cutting mat. This cool new cutting mat for cool new robot boys. Like me, I'm a cool robot boy. There we go. Spot's a little, a little uh, tricky getting in there. There we go. And I need we we for Basco. Yeah, to to some extent, if I'm being honest, of course, uh, I wish I was able to do more for my friends and stuff uh, this holiday. Um, I feel I feel like I'm that person who always uh, hang. On, I need to look at the, these a little more in depth. I feel like I'm the person who always gets uh, gifts. I'm never able to give a gift back. Usually because of uh, the currency reasons or, um, you know, just, just generally. It, it's mainly, it's mainly um, not being able to afford it, if I'm being honest. Um, and, you know, it feels, it feels a little bad after a while. I wish I could do more for my friends. Um, when it comes to... What am I doing here? What a weird part placement. That was such a weird part placement. What the f <laughs> What the fuck? Um, anyways, I digress. I wish I could do more for my friends. And it makes me a little bummed that I'm not able to do more. Um, because as I said, it feels like I'm always receiving gifts, but I'm never giving them away. I don't want to be the guy who only gets gifts. I also want to give them away. Um. Yeah. End the sentence. End log. Bye. <laughs> Bye forever. End, end stream. I'm not actually ending stream. Um. Feetsies times. You're going up there. But yeah, I, I don't know. I've been I've been trying my best to to do more for my for those I I care about. And I hope you all are too. You know because uh not to get too preachy again, but like it's it's a it's a crazy ass world out there right now. You know, gotta gotta make sure you tell those you love that you love them because uh, honestly with how things have been going uh, you know you might not be able to and you know I just want to make sure that um, if you don't know if you have anyone that loves you I love you um, if you need someone to talk to um, I do have a discord uh, I have twitter don't be afraid to reach out 
I would love to talk to you. And, uh, yeah. Just know that, that uh, you always have your your robot best friend, Basco. If, you, if things are getting a little rough. A little rough around the edges. Man, it is so hot in my room right now. What is going on? Like, I am actually overheating right now a bit. It is so weird. But uh, for winter, right? It is like, it was like 80 degrees outside today. I think it's like 70 degrees inside, inside my apartment right now, at least. It is hot. It's fucked up that we have to run the AC during Christmas. <laughs> Whew. on what I've been saying. <laughs> there we go, and... Ah oh, man, this is just the feet. Big old, big old peats. There we go. The the Gundam, the Gundam from IBO, to some extent, are always known for having just these ridiculous um, foot articulation, right? Just just some. Truly next level uh, ankle tilts. I wonder if it carries over the full mechanics, because the the high grades at least you can you can like flip that shit around, right? You can flip the the foot at the ankle, like you can spin it full three three sixty degrees. So I'm, I'm wondering if if that's if that tradition of crazy ass feet. Uh, carries. Kind of hope it does. <laughs> if not, I mean, I'm not gonna be disappointed. Well, okay, no, maybe I'll, I'll be a, probably a little, just a, just a smidge, just a smidge, disappointed. But you know what? It's an understandable necessity because not everything can be crazy ass articulation all the time. Although it is really cool if it is. There's actually one reason why I really like the Iron Blood Orphans line in journals because the Gundams at least had crazy foot articulation. So they uh, they could do some really dynamic poses while having their feet firmly on the ground. Which if y'all don't if y'all have never posed anything, having feet firmly on the ground is hard. And also, like, a vital thing that you need to have, like, have happen. So it can, like, not fall, right? Like, like a gut, like, for instance, at least with, with, uh, Gumpler, right? Uh, Maul gets to get very back heavy, right? With, with Gundam in particular. Like, uh, don't get me started on, like, some suits like the, the Freedom Gundam or, uh, the Gundam Helios? I have the Gundam Helios, as well as the, the, the Perfect Strike Freedom from Gundam Build of Battle Log. Super, super back heavy. Right? 
Oh, no, I'm sorry that your, keep, your stream keeps tr uh, crashing. I'll kiss it. But, uh, yeah. Oh! Sorry, I did not mean to just headbutt my, myself like that. Um, <laughs> that probably doesn't sound that super good. I apologize about what just happened. But yeah, the, the Gundam's having, uh, getting super, super back heavy, right? It, it sometimes is a very good thing if they can have their feet firmly on the ground. And sometimes with Gundams, that is just impossible to do with their ankle articulation. Like, here, what I mean, here, let me give you an example, right? Real quick. Arc 78, Granddaddy Gundam. Really good articulation, otherwise, the feet, the ankle articulation, as in the tilt, can only do this much. So you're kind of restricted to how long, like how far this can go. Uh, any further, it turns into a balancing match. A balancing match, I mean. And that can be perilous sometimes, especially with the more back heavy model kits, such as the Gundam Helios or the Perfect Strike Freedom, which both are so back heavy that they cannot stand without further assistance. Stand on their two feet, that is, without further assistance. So I hope that articulates just how back heavy those are. Because, oh my gosh, they are so back heavy. They're great kits, I love them to death. I would never not build them. Like, I, I don't regret my purchases at all. But, wow. Back heavy boys. Now, speaking of that, actually, it was actually kind of an amusing situation there, getting them. Because it was a situation where, um, I, I like you know Target released the kits early without really announcing it. Oh, like Bandai didn't announce it. So, but only in the United States. So I was hunting for like two weeks to get the these models. And when they when I finally got them, I went to the store and I was like, hey, it says online that you have them, and I called earlier and said you have them, but they're not on the shelf. Do you have this particular one? They're like, yes. Let me go in the back real quick. So they come, they go into the back, and they come back, and they have not only the Gundam Helios, they also had the Perfect Strike Freedom, and the Gundam Barbatoros. And at the shelf, I just noticed that, and then they said, on the shelf, I also noticed that the the, uh, the Blazing Gundam. So I'm like, oh, let me get the Blazing Gundam as well. And then they're like, we have a couple others in the back. And I'm like, oh, sure, let me see what you have. And they come back with the last two, the, the Gundam Live Lance Heaven and uh, the Double O Quanti, uh, well, Command Quanti. And uh, to say the least, I bought every single one. I bought every single one. I enjoyed it. I did the build stream. That, that was part of my build streams for that month. What's the Gundam Helios at least? Wow, this foot does not want to go together. Well, what was I thinking here? What was the, what was the plan of action here? Hang on a second. Do that. that. There we go. I need to clean the foot. Hope you all like some sanding ASMR because y'all gonna get an earful of sanding. Sanding and sanding sounds. Oh, yes. No, honestly speaking, I also think sanding is kind of ASMR like, in my opinion. So, you know. I like the sound of, a of sanding. I apologize if you don't. But it's also, I need to sand the pieces for them to go in, so I hope you all understand.
Oh man, it's so hot. I keep I keep complaining about the heat. I I might need to stop just because of how hot it is. I like like I said, I like to at least pull the inner frame, so I might be picking up the pace soon, so I don't die of heat stroke by the time we actually start building the legs. It's all backpack stuff and armor now. Cool, cool, cool. All right, this is just the hip joints that we're cutting out now. I'm gonna. Maybe rush a tiny bit. Because, you know, dying of heat right now. <laughs> yeah, it's super weird because the... The mornings are freezing. But, like, up until, like... 2 a.m. It's pretty warm out now. It's super weird. It's a super weird thing to to like experience. You know, so I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna browse the server real quick. I thought I said Georgia, not Georgina. I don't give a shit about <laughs> Minecraft. Ugh. I don't care about Minecraft YouTubers. I'm gonna get death threats now from that. <laughs> yeah, have you all heard about that? There's like some Minecraft YouTuber, like, YouTuber stands like send death threats to people who say they don't care about Minecraft YouTube. It's so fucking dumb. At times I wish I would do what um what Jay Schlatt, who was a sort he's a sort of Minecraft YouTuber. I would say he's kind of like a former one. Like I would say he's a former streamer, but he actually started streaming again, so I can't really call him a former streamer anymore. Because he he did start streaming at least once. I think like within the past couple of weeks, actually. Um, and he banned. He ba he made a bot that would scan through his follow list and ban everybody with like George not found as a name or like was taken or. So it's like you know, basically, basically, if if there if there were a name that was basically emulating a, a Minecraft YouTuber, they were banned, and it was probably the most uh, based move I've ever seen come from a streamer, because it banned like I think like five hundred to like a thousand people, right? It was a lot of people that banned, but it was. Hey, you know what? I'm, I, I, I'm here for it. That's all I'm saying. I'm here for it. All right. Getting to wrap things up. Or at least the leggies. Also, think it's very funny how sometimes they're like, "Oh, you should build these legs one at a time." I'm like, "Nah, man, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of energy to to mirror parts like that." 
So I'm just gonna, not mirror, to build one leg at a time. Because as I said in the very beginning of the stream, uh, it is, the legs tend to be the most uh, mechanically intensive part of, of a model kit because it has to do a lot, right? It has to hold the model kit up, it has to be posable, it has to be strong enough to hold the weight of the model itself, so on and so forth. So, uh, they tend to be very mechanically detailed compared to the rest of the kit. Um, just to make them stronger. Uh, and I think this is not an exception here because this page is almost entirely devoted to the legs, it looks like. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that being said, of course, this is not compared to like the perfect grade, which I think I spent like an entire day just building one perfect, like I have a perfect grade Mark II Gundam, right? It was the like I think one of the first thing first things I bought after my move. I built it because I thought it would help like hold me off from building Gunpla for uh, a couple of months. It did not, <laughs> and um, it took me like I think like a week to build that model kit. It was it was the like one of the most intensive things I've ever built in my life. It was. So just mechanically detailed. Like I think I spent like three hours on like the calf. I'm building a calf, right? It, it, it was it's insane. Yeah, you know, moving the feet. Moving out of the way, feet. Feet. There we go. Sorry, just making sure I was putting the right parts on the right places. And let us continue. And we are about to wrap up, I think, the legs. I think one of the legs. I'm gonna keep saying that, but it's true. I, I legitimately, it feels very final. It feels like a very final moment for the legs. All right, and sandwich that. Cause I also just realized that this is a uh, majority of this page is actually just showing the mirrored leg. So, I mean, it's still half the page, but it's also with pictures, so I think it doesn't really count that much. It's like how back in school you wouldn't it wouldn't count if you read picture books during reading reading time. I I legitimately knew someone in high school who didn't stop reading picture books until like their senior year. Like there was just that bad at reading. Though they they weren't like um they weren't like handicapped or anything. They just they just did not learn how to read at all. They refused, and somehow they ended up as a senior in high school, not knowing how to read. It was super weird. And not really knowing how to write either, which you know makes sense because you kind of need to know how to write if you want to know how to read. At least in my opinion. I think, I don't think they even graduated high school, I'm thinking about I think they had to go to like a special, special school, considering the, their circumstances. And like I said, I have no idea how they got, how they got through, through, uh, school as long as they did without knowing how to read or write, but, the name was Sean. Sean, if you're watching this, I'm not sorry for outing you like this. It's painful watch, it was painful, man. Gotta understand. Oh, 
Come on, Laggy. Why don't you want to assemble correctly, please? Okay, once more. Now with more passion. I'm going to throw this piece across existence. There, Jesus Christ, on a fucking bike. It's like put it in a very specific way, but hey, you know what? This is a very cool little mechanical detail in going on. I, I can I can appreciate some tasty mechanical detailing. Especially if it's tasty. Like it is right now. bits left over, I think. Oh boy. <laughs> just, just absorbing. Why is Alex Jones trending? I don't care about Alex Jones Twitter. Why are you showing me this? I, I have a lot of issues. When it comes to the trending, this shows me a lot of sh shit I don't care about. Um, I feel like because I, because like sometimes like I'm curious, right? So I click on the things that I don't care about because I'm curious. Also, I'm pretty sure this is a wheel that I just built, like not like a rolling wheel. Like I can't actually physically roll it, but I'm like I'm like ninety percent sure this is like. Some sort of gyro or like a wheel. I don't know what's going on here, but it's super weird. It looks like a joint for some reason. Which makes me think it's a wheel. I feel like there shouldn't be a wheel here. You know what? I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna finish building the the inner frame, and then we're gonna build the accessories. So, stuff like the uh, the the swords, uh, the the backpack, maybe. I think I'm gonna do the sword at least. So that way, you know, the the uh, the armor. Not the armor. The inner frame, at least, is strapped. As stay strapped, or get clapped, as the kids put it. <laughs> Oop. Sorry for the bump. Just making sure that the hips are in. Nice. Do appear to be. Man, this is a. It looks super weird. This. <laughs> look. It looks. Well, I mean, <laughs> it has some clown feet going on because of the inner frame. Oh man, can I even stand? Let's see, can it stand? answer may surprise you uh, the answer is not really 
Question mark? Question mark, question mark, question mark? I think it, it kind of stands. It kind of stands, okay. But I mean, this is this is just the Barbados' frame, right? It's not really, it's not really the Barbados. Let's move on to accessories. Oh wow, the accessories are really easy. Yeah, I might as well just build the backpack. This is like it's a, it's a single page, right? This saw stream ends at a nice round two hours before I call it a night. This is also uh, it's also twelve thirty four at night. <laughs> Correction, it is kind of one page. All right, let's get right rootin' tootin' and shootin' with this backpack of ours. No time to delay. Except for, you know, delay time, like me uh, trying to find the parts, for instance. I'm blind as a bat and I'm holding the runner upside down, so of course things don't make sense because I'm holding the runner upside down. Like a big goobus. Goobus banoobus. By the way, I would like to mention, first build stream where I didn't drop anything. I don't think I did. But I did. I give you permission to spam me with cloud emojis. <laughs> So actually getting some color in on this because we got building the backpack which is a little out of order right but from, as, as far as I'm aware it does it's not gonna break anything if I build the backpack right now so I thought hey why not build the backpack right now right just just make sure the just just to give it something to hold its applesauce Got a little thruster. We got a little articulated thruster unit right there. Interesting amount of mechanical detail going into the internals of the backpack. Or well, internals, not internals. I feel like um, most backpacks don't get that much thought onto what's going on on the inside, which in this case is not a whole lot, but the fact that there is any thought put into what's on the inside of the backpack, uh, mechanically speaking, is more than usual. Definitely more than usual. Oh, oh, that's why it's so fucking big. It's because it's a centerfold. I'm like, why is this page so thick? It's a centerfold. That's why it's so thick. So thick and juicy.
There we go, and... Well, interesting bits of articulation. It appears. And I think that I think the Barbados actually has like the the, the sub arms inside the backpack, much like its uh, its previous iteration, uh, which was very handy for when I actually did decide to use the gun. I think I used the gun twice before promptly throwing the gun at something. <laughs> that being the pilot um, used a gun uh, on the the Barbados. I think twice, and then promptly threw the gun at, at uh, a graze, I believe. Which, uh, to those who don't know what a graze is, a graze is just the the stormtrooper of IBO, right? It, it is mass-produced grunts meant to be shot at by the, the heroes look more heroic. And now he has a little backpack for his applesauce. And I'm gonna build its sword. And it's the holding hand for the sword. I'm surprised that the sword is just one... Correction, two hunks of plastic slapped together, which honestly speaking, Kind of fitting for the fact that it is basically just in canon a hunk like a, a slab of solid metal with little blades on the side. There's a little storage area for a little storage clip. Hang on, let's put the storage clip on. And then I shall call in the stream. Oh. I'm also gonna clean this little piece. Because it came out a little, a little gross, a little nasty, a little, a little stinky, like B Timora. And with that, yeah, I'm just gonna put that over there. I'm gonna clip. And then plug. Hang on, I need to make sure this is actually sealed. Actually, I need to move that up. There we go. That is one Gundam mass Gundam inner frame. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna end it here. I'm starting to feel a little tired. I don't feel antsy anymore, which is definitely the objective of the stream. So, you know, watch my Twitter for updates on, on the build. Uh, so I'm probably going to be posting pictures of it once I'm actually done with it. Uh, so thank you all, one and all, for coming to my stream today. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I had a good time, I think. He thinks. And, uh, yeah, hang on a second. I'm just going to... There we go breaking stuff down already just to make it easier for me and yeah, some trash. The bags need to throw away now anyways yeah uh, I don't really have any announcements um, but you know happy
have a happy holidays. I hope everyone had a good Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas. And I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's. And let's find someone to raid. Let's see. Let's just raid Kat. Let's just raid Kat. Once again, have a wonderful night, and I'll talk to you all next time. Keep your eyes open on my Twitter or on my Discord uh, if you want to see my schedule updates. And yeah, see you all next time.